Thank you very much for your time joining me today. From all the places in the beautiful world, why did you choose the Amazon rainforest to go and volunteer? Growing up, watching documentaries, I remember with my granddad, he always used to kind of like record documentaries on a VHS and every time I'd go around there, we'd watch them and drink tea and eat toast. And, and so just the natural world for me personally has been like a, a huge thing for my life. Growing up, I, you know, would always kind of spend time where I could in nature. And if I couldn't be in nature, I would go to somewhere which had wildlife or, or anything like that. But the Amazon rainforest to me was just always such an incredible and like uh, a mystical place. I had like always dreamt of going there. And so whilst I was kind of leaving the military and dealing with depression, I, I thought what a better place to go than, you know, this crazy and, and unknown place called the Amazon. And can you tell us what it was like the first day that you got Keanu? I was out for the majority of it and I was cutting trails and I was just, you know, doing what you usually do in the jungle. And it's just kind of like doing small bits to try and, you know, keep maintenance up. And, and I remember coming back and, and Keanu was there and I, uh, I just cried with happiness, you know, like I had this kind of second chance and I had this kind of like I had this drive in me and this fire that was ignited because I knew that, you know, without a mother, he was was not going to be able to make it. And so it was my job from there on out to become Keanu's mother. You said in the film, of course, that it gave you a sense of purpose, but can you elaborate what it meant to you the final day that you got to see him being released in the wild? This project has put a wild animal back into the wild. And so when it came to the day to say goodbye to him, for him to go off and to be, you know, be a wild animal in, in this jungle was very hard, but at the same time was also very rewarding. I wanted so badly for him to be a wild animal. I, I needed that for him, you know, it wasn't his fault that he was taken from his mother. That was the fault of human beings. Uh, and a lot of the time in this world, nature is, is, is very brutal, but humans are worse. And so I, I was so happy to see that he had started his life off on a bad foot or a bad paw. And um, because of the, the love and the passion and, and the drive that he had behind him, you know, that, that support, he was able to go off into the jungle by himself. And um, it just was the most, you know, incredible and amazing feeling but at the same time was so upsetting because this was my son you know i'm just letting my son go off into the jungle and, and the jungle is a very dangerous and treacherous place so going off into the unknown and this film is much a story of an ocelot reintroduction as it is your journey of mental health in that regard what did the jungle give you that the city couldn't give you you know being in natural places is always going to make people feel happier. Um, it is not normal for us to live behind computer screens and live on our phones and live in jungle, you know, concrete jungles instead of actual, you know, ancient trees. It's it's not normal. And, and within us, we shouldn't feel that we have to, you know, be in these concrete jungles and in this way of life. And so nature for me personally has just always been this like powerful thing that can always um it can always kind of like lift you out of a dark place um whether it be seeing an incredible animal or, or watching an, a beautiful encounter or just listening to the silence every part about it is just like for me and i know for a lot of my friends as well it's just the most you know in incredible thing Um, but this film is about mental health as much as it is about putting an animal back where it belongs. And I think that this film and the vulnerability that is shown in it um, hits on a few subjects. It hits on conservation, it hits on mental health. And when the two of them combine, it, it is so powerful that we should really start looking at this for future conservational projects. We should start thinking, why should we save the forest? 
people don't really care about saving the forest for the animals. You know, some of us do, but the majority don't, especially people who are trying to make money off the jungle. We should start thinking about saving the forest to protect our own health and our own mental health, because without natural places, we're going to become a very depressed um, species. And as humans, I've found that when people are depressed, they do bad things and this world will only start going downhill from there. And so saving natural places and, and uh, really being open with your mental health is is two key points in this film. And I think it's the next steps in, in conservation and, and, and saving the planet. What would you tell people that want to volunteer in the Amazon but are not necessarily a biologist or in the fields of conservation? I personally never went to school or university. Um, what I did have was a passion and what I did have was a love for the natural world. And I think that when you have a passion and a love for something, it doesn't matter about what schooling you have done in your past. If you really want to do something, you really can make it work. Um, volunteering in places is a great way to get experience um, and with experience uh, and, and educating yourself you can really honestly achieve whatever you want to achieve and so just because you haven't got a doctorate or just because you haven't got a master's doesn't mean that you can't do these incredible things but that being said just because you watch this film doesn't mean that everyone can go to the jungle and start you know raising animals um, this honestly happened because it was just the right place at the right time. This animal needed help and therefore uh, we decided that we wanted to give it help. Um, but follow your passion, follow your, you know, the love that you have in whatever that be, whether it be in IT, whether it be in rainforest conservation, you know, when you have that fire inside, you don't let it go out.